Hey guys, well, I haven't had much time to do anything. I've been work, 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 work. So here's where I've been working, on sunny southern Alberta, on a wind farm. That's one of the towers uh, getting put together. And there's a few more over there that we've actually got uh, commissioned and up and running. And this one on the site I'm on right now is the one just being built. All that freaking crane is, I believe, these towers are 200 feet plus uh, fiberglass wings. It's huge, it's a big project. We've got 50 of these that we put in since January, I guess, September. So there's actually the first three that were commissioned on this project down the bottom of the valley and the Old Man, Old Man River Dam is just down below there and uh, the Rockies are just out to the west although the haze you can't see them and Waterton National Park is just down to the south of us here. It's warmed up, it's down to about minus 12 right now. The wind has calmed down enough to get these up so it's kind of cool. get on the next section I'll get up and we'll get the uh, next section up on video. Now they're just starting to lift the middle section. guy here but I've never seen this before so I'm getting some video of it. There's perspective how large that is the fellow walking up.
I did today. Later. Well, here's one of these huge buggers in operation. I'm afraid this uh, video just doesn't give it justice to how big those are. Each one of the blades is 70 meters across. So you're looking at 140 meters around. Each one of the nacelles up top weighs 300,000 pounds. The tower and all the internals each weigh 300,000. So you got 600,000 pounds sitting on that base. Here's one off in the middle distance there. You can get a little bit better perspective of how big these are. That tower is 200 feet high. They are absolutely friggin' massive. And there's a few more off there. And over here, there is the lovely eastern slopes of the uh, Rocky Mountains. Windy as a bugger up here. We're going to explore the second windy place in Canada. That's all the wind towers. It's kind of neat. Let's get back real quick. We've got mountains. I love it down here. It's all, it's all nice and all for all the guys that live out in Utah. I, you know, if I wasn't living in Alberta, I could, uh, that's where I'd want to live, is out down there. Anyway, there's some more of the wind towers. That's what I'm doing today is babysitting these guys, uh, putting these together. Pretty quiet day on a Saturday afternoon. Just amazing. They're massive. Alright, bye. See you later.